Hello everybody. Today's project, we are going to install this step bumper receiver hitch onto our trailer right in this spot, kind of centered on that. And the point is so that we can uh, mount our bike rack that's a hitch receiver onto here and it'll extend over the trailer and then we can put wood or whatever underneath it. Bikes are extended over the trailer and just kind of save some room. Uh, so once we have all the bikes on there, there's, there's not a lot of room. Um, we did try like a hitch extender on here with a double hitch, but our van kind of sits low and uh, I didn't like how low it was. So we're going to give this a whirl and see what happens. Um, so this step bump receiver I got at Harbor Freight. I uh, also picked up some half inch uh, bolts and nuts and washers. I'm going to try to use a step bit for this. Uh, if that doesn't work, I did pick up this um, 5 8 inch drill bit. I'm hoping that the step bit works and I can return that because that was like a $28 bit or something. So uh, I'd rather not keep, you know, rather not keep that. Uh, so some of the tools we're going to use our drill. Um, we have a hammer with a, a pin just to knock our center point. And you'll notice I have some plywood on here uh, to keep things from rolling out and whatnot. So I got to cut that, which we'll use the uh, oscillating saw for. So my first step is I need to cut this part out um, that's in that area. So to do that, I'm just going to take the piece. I'm going to set it on here and kind of mark where I need to cut. And then we'll use that oscillating saw to cut it up. So to mark the area, I'm not looking for perfect here. So I'm just going to set this on here and we're just going to mark on each side here where it goes. And then after we have it marked, uh, we'll cut it. I'll probably just go to the end of that plywood. So there's no sense in that. And uh, so I'll mark this side and the bottom and we'll get her started. All right, so we have it marked. Uh, we're just going to go from here down to here. Uh, if you haven't used one of these tools before, it's pretty easy. Uh, let's say we start down here. And just turn it on. Uh, so you can see getting it started um, is, is pretty easy and then I'll just work it down that way. Uh, I'm not going to film that whole thing because uh, that'll be kind of boring and redundant. And so we will check back in once I have it done. All right, so we got this uh, piece of wood cut out. Um, so I set this on here about where I wanted. I centered it um, on here. Right now it's just sitting here. So we got a mark where we're going to put our bolts. Um, I'm going to use these slotted ones, put one here and one on this side. I'm going to leave these open for now, but if uh, I feel like it needs more, I'll put more bolts in. But I think two is going to be good. Um, I'll just kind of hug them to this side. And so to mark those holes, you know, we can either use a pen and mark it, or uh, one trick that I picked up a while back is to take a bolt. You take a bolt or whatever, whatever you're using and put a bunch of chalk on it. And then now that it's all chalked up, put it where you want it and just kind of press and you can see the circle of the bolt. So I'm gonna get to the other side as well and then we'll get to drilling. All right, so I got my two holes marked. And so to keep the drill bit from um, skittering around, if you take like a, a nail punch, get it to about the center, give it a smack, that puts a dent in the, the metal and it'll keep your bit from moving all around on you. So then you can feel it and there's that little, little divot. Um, now when you're doing metal, it's gonna get hot. So I usually throw a little WD-40 where I'm drilling and then on the, the bit itself to keep it cool. And then you find your center point hole and we're gonna go ahead and drill. Yep, hammer drills on, so we'll turn that off. You can see it's smoking already, so we'll go a little bit, throw some oil on it. And so I got my first pop through there. Hopefully you can see that. Now for this one, I do need to go almost all the way in. So. And then uh, I think that's good, but I'm gonna grab a bolt. Yeah, that's about perfect. So 
We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other hole and then we'll get moving on to uh, bolting on. All right, so the step bolts worked uh, really, really well, or the, the step drill. Um, so this, this Milwaukee one, I'm gonna take back because uh, like I said, that was about like 28 bucks. So throw that off to the side. And those step bits were Harbor Freight, nothing special. So um, I did keep spraying it with the oil to keep it going. So I'm gonna grab a rag, clean this off, and then we'll get the, the hitch bolted on. All right, so I got that cleaned up. We're gonna set our hitch on here, kind of line it up. And then we're gonna take, uh, I got a half inch bolts, uh, two inches long. We'll go ahead and put a washer on there. Feed it through the hole, same thing on the other side. Feed it in, and then we're gonna go from the underside with a washer and a nut. I'm actually gonna double nut it when I'm done so that uh, to make sure that everything is secured. All right, so we got our bolts in there and now we can put the bottom washer on and then we'll spin on the nut easier said than done all right all right so put the washer go ahead and spin on the nut All right, so that's on there, and we're gonna wait to tighten it till we get the other one also on there. So, same thing on this side. Put our washer on, and then our nut. All right, so both of those are on there where we want them. And now we can take our socket to hold the top on, and I'm gonna use the wrench on the bottom, we're gonna tighten it down as much as we can. We want this to be extremely tight. I don't want it to wiggle on me. All right, so we're gonna call that good. And then I am gonna spin on another nut. Um, double nutting it just to make sure that that one doesn't come loose on us. And once you got that on, just give it a, a tighten. And now that's not going to come off. So we're going to do the same thing to the other side and then we'll basically be done. All right, well, we have it all hooked up. Um, I did, I didn't like the amount of flex that was in there because this was bending. And so I took a spare 4x4 four four left over from other project, cut it to, uh, I needed 11 inches, cut it, put it around there, and I figured when I load it, I'll just load the firewood up to that, and then on the other side, kind of hold it in place, but um, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. If I need to, I can always put a bolt or something through there, like a U-bolt or something. Um, but easy project, it took me 15 minutes maybe, um, if I wasn't filming, probably, probably 10. Um, but I think this will work out well. It'll allow me to put the bikes up here and have space for uh, everything else. Um, so I like it. You know, we'll, we'll see how it all works out. Um, if there's any issues with it, I'll either take down the video or uh, add some comments or some additional stuff to it. But overall, pretty easy. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave those in the comments below. Hit like, subscribe, and all that. And we will talk to you soon.